Hello, welcome to another edition of the Pace Report. I'm Brian Pace reporting live here at the Iridium Jazz Club here in New York City. Guitarist Lionel Luweke hails from Benin in West Africa. And over the last decade, he's been able to fuse modern post-bop jazz with the native influences of his native Benin. His latest Blue Notes record release features special guest Esperanza Spalding, Richard Bona, and vocalist Angelique Kidjo. <laughs> This album is a far departure from your debut CD for Blue Note in that you are really kind of reaching and stretching as far as your musical roots. Right. Explain. Yeah, you know, um, basically I, I wanted to try something, put a CD that um, is pretty much the image of what I've been doing from the beginning at, until this point which means all my different influences from uh, Europe, uh, you know, classical music, jazz, and of course, um, the, the African element, the, the root of, of my music, basically. So back growing up in Benin, you started off playing percussion, and right. Africa is basically known for the origins of percussion. Explain right. your origins. Yeah, you know, I start, I start playing I started very young, I think I was nine years old, started playing percussion for for a while. So basically, you know, um, my my style, if you heard, you know, the way I play is pretty much uh, percussive, you know, in, in terms of all those um, rhythmical elements that I grew up, they come back to me uh, naturally and easily. So there's a lot going on in my mind even if I'm, you know, I'm holding a guitar, it's not just about the guitar, it's about more than the, uh, this instrument, you know. It's about all those instruments I I used to play back home and uh, all those rhythm I grew up with, you know. Tell me about some of the musical influences in Africa. Who were some of the musicians and artists that you grew up listening to in Benin? Yeah, well, a lot of traditional uh, singers uh, from Benin but most of us is uh, uh, people from musicians from Nigeria, like Fela, um, or King Sonyade, or, or Roshiro Tabule, Roshiro from uh, Congo, and uh, you know people like Alifa Kature from Mali. You know, different. Th those were my my first influences. <laughs> Thank you. 
your brother influenced you and inspired you to move from the drums, percussion, to the guitar. Explain. Well, it was very easy because, you know, guitar was the only one instrument besides percussion at home, you know, and and he was um, he was a very a, a, a very good guitar player, and my idea was to be able to um, to play a modern instrument. Uh, and at home, the only one at home was was the guitar. You know. So. And George Benson kind of came into play also. I, he's a big influence in your life. Yeah, actually, as he was my first influence, I, I have to say because back back home, you know, it was hard to get a CD of I don't know Wes Montgomery or Joe Pass, you know, but. You could find, uh, find, you know, like LP of uh, of uh, George Benson because the style of music was, I mean, Africans would listen to George Benson more than West Montgomery because they had this groove, you know, kind of uh, funky groove behind. So it was easier. It was easier for me. I mean, easier was the first real um, CD f from America. Talking about jazz, I, I heard, you know. So you were basically finding your voice musically between the ages of about 12 to 20. Yeah, well, my my voice, basically from 12 to 20, I was more focusing on on learning the instrument. You know, I, I wasn't even thinking about my own voice. I think it came later, after, yeah, from 20 to when I went to different music schools, especially when I went to... Uh, Paris to study jazz as you know all my teachers and my friends were telling me man you have something different and actually they were the, the one who really uh, sh you know told me that man you, you have something different I said well, really then I have to wait went back and listen to myself to really understand what they were talking about because again it was those it was the roots where I'm from and all those influences you know your trio for the last 11 years right. what's made your trio so unique and why have you most musicians when they transition to any kind of genre whether it's rock blues jazz they switch the format with different musicians but your chemistry is 11 years strong yeah well you know i love these guys and what make it i mean we are from different places and everybody has their own background they all have something speci special to say about uh, to, to tell, they can tell the story in, in their way. So um, there's a natural chemistry going on from the beginning, you know, and it's growing. You know, we are growing musically. It's not, um, you know, sometimes you put great musicians together and it doesn't work. And you're wondering why. Because, I mean, great musician doesn't mean you have to work. There's, it, it needs, you need to have that chemistry, the natural chemistry. So when you have people, with the natural chemistry then, you know, it's easy to work with. And at the same time, I mean, I still working with other musicians more. Even, you know, if one of them cannot make it, I'll find somebody else. And it's gonna be different. And that's what I love about it, you know. Um but as a group, you know, we have a sound. It's like we it's not a trio, it's almost like a solo, you know. It becomes one person and the the sound moves from one instrument to the other 
and try to make it one piece you know that's the challenge that's that is hard and it required a lot of listening and and um and no ego you know like put the ego on the side and just let the music talk for itself you know talk about your guitar this is a very beautiful and very unique instrument i've never seen anything like this explain well it's a uh, custom made by a swiss luthier named ross puller and um you know, it has a different, it has some features. First of all, I have a different tuning. It has a MIDI pickup. It has a poly bass built-in. It has a, st a standing neck. So, and then, it, you know, it can become like a percussion instrument. You know, so it's, it's my baby. I love it. It seems it's very futuristic. <laughs> when, I, when I hear you play out there, it seems it's very futuristic. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> do it again for another edition of the Pace Report. I'm Brian Pace reporting live here at the Iridium Jazz Club here in New York City. I'd like to personally thank Lionel Liueke for his time as well as the staff here at the Iridium. As always, please visit my website www.thepacereport.com for my weekly column as well as my past segments. Until next time, remember, if it's in the groove, it'll make you move. Peace.